Hey guys, welcome back to Gatler's Workshop. Uh, today we're going to do a, another scroll saw, wood burning kind of project. Um, I have this nice piece of cherry wood that I'm going to cut out this image um, with a scroll saw and then do some wood burning. I'm not exactly sure, like a lot of my projects, I'm not exactly sure which direction I'm going to go with this, but I think this is going to get cut out and then mounted onto something else kind of like a plaque or a frame, I guess you'd call it. Uh, this is for some friends of mine um, as a little in memory type of piece. Uh, so more details about that as we go. Uh, so we're gonna cut this out, wood burn, and hopefully frame it out into something. All right, let's go. <laughs> watching my videos long enough, you'll notice that I would burn everything inside of the perimeter while the template is still there. But I don't necessarily wood burn it to be completed or perfect because all I'm doing is replacing the template for when I sand it off. As long as I have a little bit of marking there, I remember what belongs there. The rest of the edges, I sometimes I get carried away and I continue down the edge line, but it's kind of a waste of time because when I sand this paper off, it usually comes off a little bit and I have to go over it anyway. So I just would burn what you see me doing in the middle areas so that I know where I need to go over again when the paper is on. Little cheats like that for people that are not necessarily artists like myself. Well, there it is, guys. Uh, I blocked out the last name on here just for the sake of privacy for the family. Um, as I had said, this was for my friends uh, and my friend Carl, who had uh, who had recently passed. He was 87 years old. Uh, he was. He, <laughs> I'll never forget the enthusiasm of Carl coming out to his balcony looking for me in the morning, cover his eyes from the sun, looking down at, at, at my balcony, hoping to see me. Hi, Ben, good morning, Ben. 
I'll never forget that. Uh, but aside from Carl just being an all-around nice guy, um, he made a, a lasting impression on me. As I said, he was 87 years old when he passed. I knew him from maybe 84 or 85 years old. Um, and the impressive thing about him to me was that he never stopped living and having ambition for things, even though he, his age and, and bouts of, of uh, bad health, the guy still had dreams and hobbies, but he wasn't foolish about it. He knew his age, he knew his limits, and he would ask for help when he needed it. For instance, with his garden, he liked to set up a garden every year. He'd ask for help to get that set up when he needed to, when he needed to help. Uh, he gardened every year. He, he, he would get his compound bow out in the summertime, set up an archery target at 85, 86 years old and still shooting his bow and arrow. And uh, you may be wondering why the anchor design here as far as I know, Carl wasn't in, in the Navy or, or any services, uh, but at 86 years old, he still had ambition and dream, and he wanted to get a boat. Not only a boat, but a 40-foot boat. And Carl did get his 40-foot boat uh, just months before he had passed, so... That's why I just kind of put that on there. He, he was a humorous guy, so I, I just labeled it Captain Carl. Uh, so that, this is for his family. Uh, I'll miss the guy. He was a cool guy. Uh, so that's the project. Uh, I'll be giving that to them in about a month or so. Uh, so thanks for watching. And uh, say hello to your friends, your family, and your neighbors. You never know when you won't see them again. Have a good day.